Our story begins... Not long ago. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas, and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day, on a stop at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. They found old ruins, a light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient, ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge, ominous king appeared. He carried Princess Zelda away. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take that power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. Alright, what's up everybody? Once again, my name is Matt and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. So, what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Oh, Nico, I've missed you. Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? Well, of course we are, man. Link! Link! Oh, Tetra, I've missed you too. The entire pirate gang. It's nice to be back with you all. Anyway, what's going on? Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on lookout. Link's like, uh, what? Look up at the sky. Oh, man. Ha! Some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at the spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. So, this is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of the scary ghost ship. G ghosts Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. 
I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. And remind them that there are rules to being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyways. Hey, Link finally woke up! Uh-oh. That seems kind of ominous. Hey, look! The air feels chilly. Eerie, even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship. Up ahead. Uh-oh. Seems kind of spooky to me. I don't like it one bit, guys. I do not at all. It is a pretty cool looking ship, though. I must say that. What does it want with us, though? That's what I want to know. It also appears to be a lot bigger than our ship. This could be bad. It's... it's... the ghost ship! These waters really are cursed. And you call yourself a pirate. It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh no, Tetra. You know, that doesn't seem like a good idea. That doesn't sound good. What are you guys standing there for? Do something, man! Uh-oh. The ship's getting away! Quick, Link! Yeah, there you go. See? He's got the right idea. Come on, Link. You can do it. Pull yourself up, man. No! Link! Save me! Link! Save me, Link! Oh no! You guys heard that, right? Oh no, not again! Why? Why is it always a fairy? Oh, phew! You're awake! You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Celia. You see? I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? Um, let's see. Pancakes, some waffles, and then a... Oh yeah, ghost ship! What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? I don't know, I just got here. They say that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. Our house is up there, off the beach. Come on! Oh, can you walk? I've got two legs, don't I? Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. 
All right, so that segues us perfectly into one of the more controversial things about this game, the controls. Pretty much everything is done with the stylus on the touchscreen, which it's not terrible, but it's also not the best. I'll talk more about that later. For now, though, uh, you want to count all seven of the palm trees here on the beach. Yes, there are seven of them that will be important for later on, so just keep that in mind. Uh, for now, though, what do you say we go and visit Grandpa and learn more about the evil spooky ghost ship? Sup, dude. Ah, uh, hello, traveler. So, your name is Link. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Celia told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship. But you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture. And no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? Yeah, my blank stare says it all, doesn't it? Young people. There is a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. You mean that guy who came to visit, Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Link and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Link. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Link. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck. But you be careful out there. Alright, Oceus. Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate the help. Okay, so, um, there appears to be a bridge to our right that leads directly into town, so let's head over there. Oh no, what's that? Does not sound good. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately, so many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Wow, aren't you a ray of sunshine? I'm glad you're here along for the adventure. Uh-oh, what happened here? What do you have to say? Oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately, and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Man, I don't got time for that. Um, if you look at your map again, it seems like, yeah, there is a way that we can go to the north, but, uh, right over here there's another guy we can talk to. Ho oh, there, friend, try tapping on me. Alright, so what do you want? Yep, that's how it's done, just tap on people to speak with them. Anyway, I've just had a bad bit of luck with my garden here. The quake just heaved a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up. Then tap where you want to throw it. Okay, seems simple enough. I guess we can help this guy out with uh, his rock problem here, although... Not sure why he couldn't do it himself. I mean, he was like twice our size, but there you go, bud. Thanks a plenty. You really helped me out there. It's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please, I insist. 
All right, and he gives us a green rupee, which is worth one rupee. Thanks a lot, bud. What's with a dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Well, you kind of are. Fine, then here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. All right, so here's a cool feature. If you press down on the D-pad, uh, you can actually bring up your map and get the opportunity to draw on it. So, let's circle this area, and um, we'll write down hot tip just so we know to go search this area later on and uh, bash into that tree. So, there we go. Sweet. I'd recommend that you jot that down in your map before you forget it. To scribble on your map, tap the menu, then tap map, or you could just press down on the D-pad. Either way works. Alright, so, uh, let's head up north now, and see if we can make our way into town. Monsters! Look out, Link! It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Alright, so it seems like, um, Celia will not let us go any further without something to defend ourselves with, so... Um, I guess we should probably go back and talk to Oceus and see if he'll give us something, or at least give us some more advice. Try the path to the north, did you? Celia, don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, Link. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. The cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Really, dude? So you're just gonna, like, tell us to wait around for that bridge to get fixed? We ain't got time for that. Well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword, then you could show those monsters. Hmm, that's a good idea, Celia. If only we had a sword. Well, good news for us, there just happens to be a cave over here that's blocked by this barrel, and if we go inside, we might find exactly what we need. Grandpa uses this cave as his storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Yeah, and that's why I told you there were seven of them. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask first. Oshis. Alright, so let's just draw the number seven on this here sign. And... Bam! There you go. Door unlocked. Sweet! Now let's just head through here and uh, open up this chest because inside is a sword. So we got Osha's sword. Tap an enemy or slice the stylus on the touchscreen. You found a sword! Oh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Sweet. So now that we got our sword, yeah, we can uh, slide across the touchscreen to do some slices. We can also tap to attack certain enemies. Um, we'll pretty much learn more about sword combat in a second here once we leave this cave. So, let's get out of here and... Uh-oh. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. <laughs> I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. Alright, sweet, so let's get some proper training in the way of the sword. Link. So you have a sword. Then know that even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. Alright, so this is pretty easy. Just uh, tap the target you want to hit. And the game does the rest for you. Fairly easy. Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock onto enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. 
This move requires a little practice. Simply sketch to slash. Alright, so this is where things get a little weird because sometimes the game doesn't exactly register what you want to do like that, for instance. So even though you may be trying to slash, it might register it as something entirely different and uh, not do what you want to do. It looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. And finally, we have the spin attack. Slide the stylus in a circle around yourself to spin attack, Link. Alright, so for this, you're going to want to do large circles around yourself, not tiny ones, otherwise it pretty much won't do the right attack either, so just do the large ones and you should be fine. Superb! I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Alright, so the student has become the master, and now we are ready to take on our adventure. So let's just head up north and uh, see what we can do. That way we can make our way into town. So now we can take on all these shoes, no problem. Um, I might as well take like a brief second to talk about the controls, but first things first. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that you can do a roll attack. So what you want to do is... um. Give yourself enough space, first of all, but if you put the stylus towards the edge and uh, do like a small circle, yeah, you should do a roll attack. And if you're one of that tree, you can get yourself 20 rupees. I think rupees are pretty important in this game if my memory serves me well. So, um, I'm probably gonna try and collect quite a few of them while we go through like this first area and make our way into town. Um, right over here though, we got our first locked door. But if we keep going, yeah, there's a chest over here and that does contain the small key we need. So, the controls in this game, they're kind of weird. Um, I personally don't like the touchscreen controls. I would have preferred just to have um, a button, at least for all of our sword combat. Like, using the touchscreen to move around, it's actually not that bad, and it works pretty well. Um, you know, minus, like, roll attacking, because that really doesn't feel that natural. But, I honestly do wish... Um, there was just like regular button controls to use all the sword slashes just so it was more like consistent Anyways, let's check out this rock pull the four levers in the correct order or else Ooh, Spooky, what could that mean and what could the correct order be? Well to find out um, we pretty much just need to explore the other sections of this cave so uh, we can move this block by tapping on it and over here, we should find some more information about those four levers. So, um, let's just collect all these rupees and open up this chest. Because inside, there is another 20 rupees and um, another stone that we can read. So, what does this say? When pulling the levers, second, first on the left, last, second from the right. Um, Alright, so, let's pull down our map by pressing the down button. And now, um... Let's write out the location for these levers. I actually know the correct order already, but I think I might be doing this wrong. These hints always confuse me, but I know this is the fourth one, and uh, the first one is right to the left of that. Pulling four levers, where might those be, I wonder? Well, we totally didn't just pass them. Well, I bet this hint will come in handy. How about we write it on our map? All right, so yeah, she's going to tell us how to use our map again. And, um, of course, there are shortcuts to bring down the map on the control pad or by pressing the B button. Alright, um, let's go to the other side now. That way we can get the rest of these hints and, uh, figure out the remainder of this puzzle. Like I said, I already know what the solution actually is just from playing the game before, but, uh, in case you don't know, this is how you would find it out. So, what's up, Stone? When pulling the levers, first, second from the left. Alright, so, yeah, that was the first one that I already marked on my map. So, um, from the other stone... That means that the second one is right to the left of that, and the remaining one would be three. And that was a terrible three, but, yeah, whatever. I mean, the DS touchscreen isn't exactly the greatest thing to write on. So, now let's just pull these levers in the correct order according to our map. And doing so should cause a small key to fall from the ceiling. So, bam, there we go. Now we can open up the door. Um, if you pull the levers in the incorrect order, I believe just more monsters will spawn, so not really that big of a deal. But, let's move on up and see what else is in store inside this cave. Alright, so this is actually a very interesting room. We've got like sort of a small puzzle that we do need to solve. So, 
I like this first cave in this game, honestly, because it's like a nice introduction to how puzzles uh, sort of work in Phantom Hourglass, because this game is kind of a little different than uh, most other Zelda games, just due to the way that it controls. So, like, this is a nice first area to sort of uh, slowly introduce you to all of that. But yeah, what you want to do is just move this block to cover that hole, because obviously this rat with the key is going to run away from you, and you can't really catch him. So what you want to do is wait for him to run uh, over to where that block is, then block his path, hit him with your sword, and of course you'll be able to grab the small key. So, now that we got that, uh, we're pretty much good to go. We can unlock this door, and um, we're actually almost out of this first cave already, so did not take us too long. Um, like I said though, I think rupees are pretty important in this game, so I'm gonna keep trying to kill all these enemies just in hopes that I can uh, grind up a couple extra rupees. I'm not sure how many we'll need throughout the entire game, but um, I have that like memory that rupees are important in this game, so I'm just like being extra cautious about that. Because honestly, I probably know this game the least out of all of these Zelda LPs that I've played thus far, but it still should be fun to go through and 100% again. We made it to the port. It's so much farther to walk when the bridge is out. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. Okay, let's head to the port. Alright, you got it. But you know what? We're going to do that in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But... Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.